Uprose is Brooklyn's oldest Latino community-based organization. It's an intergenerational women of color led organization dedicated to environmental and social justice. I feel like what always has to be the main priority is climate change. It's not something that's coming. It's not something that's around the corner. It's something that's already here. We don't have the luxury to choose between fighting against racial profiling and police misconduct and climate change. We live in that nexus of all those isms. And so for us, it's a climate justice movement. Young people who are going to be the ones dealing with this crisis, we need them to be at the front. We need them to be learning the skills from now, how to do direct action, how to plan, how to organize. people came in and said, what about this power plant? We've got to stop it. They fought for three years, like the average age was 15 years old, and they stopped the siting of a power plant that would have been the size of three football fields. The New York City Environmental Justice Alliance is a citywide coalition of community-based organizations from the city's most environmentally overburdened communities, essentially the city's low-income communities and communities of color. These communities, you know, a lot of them have had successful track records at stopping waste transfer stations, sewage plants, incinerators, but the underlying structural reasons that keep rising to these repeated sightings were larger systemic problems embedded in law that have disparity and outright racism cooked into them, right? Solid waste, for example. There are three communities in New York, the South Bronx, North Brooklyn, Southeast Queens, that handles something like 75% of the entire city's solid waste stream. You have workers, immigrants who may be undocumented, or folks who are formerly incarcerated that are being exploited by a largely ununionized dangerous industry. People of color and low-income folks from these communities a few years ago started working directly with organized labor and some of the mainstream environmental groups. We finally got New York City's mayor de Blasio to embrace a zero waste goal for New York. First time any mayor has done that. You're seeing a big exodus of African Americans, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, Dominicans are moving out. Displacement in the, in, in the age of climate change means that there won't be anything like social cohesion. That busybody up the block who knows everybody's business, who knows who's on a respirator, who's on dialysis, that's your first responder in the event of an extreme weather event. What Sandy did was it became a wake-up call, which is why when 2014 rolled around and the People's Climate March, it's a reason why 400,000 people marched in the streets of New York. To his credit, the mayor announced the 80 by 50 goal, 80% reduction of the city's greenhouse gases by 2050. The governor finally banned fracking, again, in the month or two after the People's Climate March. Out of the People's Climate March also comes this relationship around divestment. We basically have all of these initiatives that come out of there that brings all of us together. The goal for when it comes to just transitions is to move Sunset Park away from a community that they just extract from. It's only people who come from privilege who can actually be so bold as to say we got to shut it down. Those of us who come from the working class know what it's like to struggle. And so we have to be thoughtful and mindful about how do we create those opportunities where we're moving people from one economy to the other. I'm a young Puerto Rican woman. So Puerto Rican strike one, woman strike two, young strike three. You need to find a place like Uprose that supports you and takes everything that they say is your downfall and turns it into your power.